One man's trash is another man's treasure. A lower mainland junk removal company has taken that saying to heart in an effort to help the dozen or so people left homeless after that huge fire in Kitsilano last month. Many are still struggling to get their lives back together, but as Michelle Simic reports, two of the families got a truckload of help today. Normally, this truck hauls away junk. But today, it's delivering much-needed furniture and other household items to two families left with almost nothing. So what was lost for, in, for you guys? Uh, almost, well, I'd say three pieces of furniture. Lena Karlstrom is one of about a dozen people burned out of their homes when this massive fire ripped through four Kitsilano houses in August. I remember um, thinking that, um, you know, this is going to take the whole, and it's going to take down the whole neighborhood because it tends to be so explosive. The blaze broke out in the middle of the night. Moving so fast, residents escaped with their lives, but little else. Most of my clothes were saved, but then everything else was gone, basically. And uh, my son and daughter lost. All, all their toys and all their clothes. This is what Karlstrom's place looks like now. The roof completely gone. The top floor destroyed. Where are you living in between? Like, uh, this has been four different places so yeah. far. Now, just a block away, she and two of her neighbors are moving in here and they're getting a helping hand. We do come across some really nice stuff, and when we do, we try and give it back to the community. 1-800-GOT-JUNK heard they were in need and managed to collect enough furniture to fill a whole house. We're able to donate a bed, um, some living room furniture, a kitchen set, as well as a washer and dryer. Uh, and we're continuously looking for, I think they're still in need of a desk, so we're going to keep our eye out for that. Karlstrom is overwhelmed by the generosity of the community. I've never been in a situation where I needed help from anyone really in that, that way. So I'm just very surprised and very, of course, very happy. But mostly, she is grateful to have survived. Yeah. I'm here. That's the main thing. Michelle Simic, TTV News.